In today's video, I'll tell you about the most addictive perfume from my collection. Intrigued? Well, then hit that subscribe button and keep on watching! Alright guys, the time has come for me to reveal for you the most addictive perfume from my collection, which you know is a lot to say because I have a lot of cool fragrances, each of them tells uh, a unique story and I gravitate towards uh, interesting and artistic smelling fragrances and if something smells mainstream and boring, I pass on it and I'm very picky with my perfumes, that's why I'm very hard to impress these days, but there are certain fragrances that I'm in love with and one of them I have never reviewed for you and I was actually surprised because I love it and at some point I figure out that maybe I love it so much and find it so special and so cool that I just don't want to tell the world about it because I want to keep it for myself because you know when you find gold you don't run on the street and scream I found gold you know no you're quiet about that but I'm here to break my biggest secret about the most addictive perfume and if you also have such fragrances you don't want the world to find out about go ahead and share them with me and with that being said let's talk about that hidden gem. You all probably know that I love powdery perfumes, right? And at this point you might go like, oh my god, is it powdery? And of course it's powdery. And I have a lot of powdery babies in my collection and to pick just one baby is a crime, it's impossible, but I kind of did that. So that shows how much that fragrance means to me and uh, the thing is, I could give you reasons why I love it and later in this video I will, but do you really need reasons for love? I don't think so and sometimes it's really hard to define what you love about the perfume, you just love it and if you're feeling in love while wearing a certain perfume, that might be the sign that that's your holy grail fragrance, which for me is are you ready? Oh my god, I'm so excited to tell you about it because probably none of you has heard about it and uh, it's from an indie house and I love to support indie perfumery because it's so artistic and it's called Geisha Bhutan by Aroma and Perfumes. All fragrances from this house are inspired by geishas and this is my favorite one for sure. And the thing is, guys, I have it in this travel format in a roll-on bottle, but at some point I'll surely need a spray-on bottle, which I available on the official website, that you can check it out, the link to it you'll find down below. And by the way, did you know that peony tattoos are very popular in Japan? Well, even though peonies don't bloom at the moment, with Geisha Bhutan you'll always have a piece of peony with you. And that makes Geisha Bhutan a peony-centered perfume, which is pretty cool, because peony is one of my most favorite flowers, because it blooms in spring spring and I love spring flowers and peony is really hard to recreate in the perfumery. There is only a limited number of fragrances that smell authentically of peony and geisha Bhutan is among them. So when you apply it on your skin in the opening there is this ethereal scent of peony as if you put your nose into the luscious and velvety peony flower absolutely miraculous experience. But later, addictive sweetness appears that stole my heart and made me feel butterflies inside. I'm not joking, guys. This perfume makes me in, like being in love, um, being in heaven. I'm telling you, this perfume is so special. I don't really know how to describe it other than powdery, dewy, sweet, Floral sea. It's magical, it's so good, and if you love fragrances in the powdery, but not dusty, rather creamy style, I really recommend you Geisha Bhutan, but remember, that's a secret, so don't tell anyone, check it out for yourself, and if you have any further questions about it, go ahead and ask me anything you want in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. The last thing I want to add about Geisha Bhutan is that it has absolutely phenomenal performance. Being a long-lasting perfume and I can even smell it for days on my hair and it also has this gorgeous sillage which I really enjoy because I like to smell 
perfume I'm wearing while moving around and this is just like a fragrance made in heaven that makes you feel that heaven. And that completed this review on Geisha Baton by Aroma M Perfums. I hope you had fun watching it and if you learned something new then go ahead and like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Also if you are new here subscribe to my channel and to stay connected follow me on my social media. I am excited to hear your feedback on today's review and request for future content. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, hit that bell to be notified about my new uploads and stay tuned, smell good, we'll see you on the next one really soon. Bye guys!